since he's not here, are you are you annoyed or are you upset or what? No, I'm I'm used to his behavior at this point. You know, he's unprofessional. He's a flake. He's not a serious businessman. He's not a serious fighter. Um, and I'm going to prove that. That's why this fight's called The Truth, because the truth's going to come out. Um, and he's going to have to pay for all the times he pulled out, all the business people he screwed over. It's it's disrespectful. There's some of the biggest names in boxing, some of the biggest promoters in the world, some of the most influential people in the world, one of the greatest countries in the world, and he doesn't want to show up because, yo, a private matter. Cool. Yeah, we all have private matters. When you sign up to do something and you make a commitment, that's what it should be about. And it just shows me that he's scared because he said he didn't need to train for this fight. Oh, I could fight Jake Paul and I don't even have to train. But meanwhile, his excuse first was that he had to train extra for this fight. And now apparently it's a private matter. So it's typical Fury stuff. I love Tyson, but I'm saying the dad and Tommy, it's typical from them. Final one for me. What do you make of uh, the UFC announcing that Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler will be the coaches of the Ultimate Fighter this year? Yeah, yeah I think think it's good. Obviously, it's always good uh, to have uh, Conor coming back to the sport. Brings a lot of eyes here, you know. It's uh, and uh, that'll be a fun fight as well. You know what I mean? And it's uh, I think it's uh, clever, clever for both of them. Clever for for Conor because uh, he can go and fight, and that's a. Uh, you know, they're both uh, powerful dudes. Obviously, it's a winnable fight because they're just going to go for it. So it's going to be entertaining. But, I mean, that just puts uh, Conor right back in the conversations, you know, for for the belt and all that type of stuff. And for people to say, you know, I it wouldn't deserve it and there's no way they're going to do that, you're pretty crazy, right? Like, uh, it's Conor McGregor. And if he takes out someone like a Chandler, you know his name's going to be mentioned. You know people are going to be talking about him. Uh, so it's, it's interesting. It's good to look at because I plan on taking that lightweight belt and, I'm looking at seeing what's happening in the, in the division. There's a lot of uh, potential matchups uh, after this one, but obviously, first I've got to worry about what's in front of me.